I think we need to increase the freedom with which we can deploy technology, right? We need to have more alternatives where if, if Apple isn't going to allow my application, fine, I'll go somewhere else, right? Right now, there's nowhere else to go. It means they get to control me. I want to bring something that, that is valuable to humanity, but they won't let me, right? Mm -hmm. There have been many, many discoveries and they get acquired and they get shelved because they interfere with the existing power structure. And this is what we need to break. We need for the, the human creativity and human imagination to be able to flourish without these gatekeepers and these, these people who are currently benefiting from the misery of humanity. I think you now already have <laughs> spoken out what my next question leads into. Why is the vow, the new Bitcoin, 3.0? <laughs> well, I, I call it 2.0. Oh, because... 2.0. But yeah, because there's Bitcoin and then there's nothing else, right? And um, and the answer is because the promise of Bitcoin was to free us from this uh, architecture of control. Uh, and it did so theoretically. It, it No, it did so in practice. But uh, it hasn't done so in a scale that is large enough to matter. I can now hold my money in a way that the government doesn't know I have it and can't confiscate it. That's a really big step towards sovereignty, self-sovereignty, right? Uh, because again, it's money is the thing that matters. The problem is that Bitcoin will probably never see sufficiently large numbers of, of people, not enough adoption, because in order to own it, you really need to make a very large mental shift. And most people are not ready to make that mental shift. So um, they will be, however, ready to make the mental shift that Val proposes, which is you can now shop and buy the things that you would ordinarily buy anyway and just get rewarded for it. That's easy enough, right? And that is a gateway. So Val is like a Trojan horse, really right? That is a gateway for them to shift their mind towards vow. Once they have those V currencies and they've been sitting around on them for a bit, they realize, oh, I could just buy vow. So now they own vow. They own an asset that's right, rising in value, just like they would have owned Bitcoin, but they didn't have to make that huge mental shift to Bitcoin because when people think about Bitcoin, they think about it as, a, as an asset to invest in. Right. And so then they think, uh, first of all, there's all the people who don't invest because they don't have any money to invest. And then there's all the people who invest and they invest in equities and bonds and traditional things. And they look at crypto and they go, oh, it's it's unregulated. You know, how safe is it? Because it's it's not regulated. They actually think that regulation makes the assets safer. Right. It's 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 uh, it's really sad that people have so little understanding of matters that they fail to understand that regulation is actually what hurts them, right? It's regulation that prohibits them from making the kinds of investments that actually make people rich, right? Um, you you want to invest in a you know in a company. Uh, oh, well, you have to be an accredited investor. That means that you have to have a net worth of $1 million and income of you know $100,000 a year. And you have to be able to prove that in order to make this investment. Why? Because that investment actually has potential, right? Ah, but you're a little guy. We don't allow you to, right? That's why the little guy remains poor because he can't invest in the things that actually make money. He has to buy stuff that's listed on the exchange that has terrible performance, frankly. Right, so we so we change that, right? They they go from holding rewards to becoming investors without even thinking about it, and that is why Vow will get there first. Bitcoin sadly will never see its light, the light of day in the way that we do. Meaning to say, it it will it it no longer stands the chance of becoming the world currency because Vow will. <laughs>